London, one of the world's most widely read literary works will soon have a sequel. Almost half a century after she wrote her first book To Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee has decided to publish the second one this summer. Publisher Harper has announced it has acquired rights to a newly discovered novel by Lee. Titled Go Set a Watchman by Lee, the novel will be published on July 14, 2015. After To Kill a Mockingbird was published by J.B. Lippincott in 1960, Lee set aside Go Set a Watchman and never returned to it. The original manuscript of the novel was considered to have been lost until fall 2014, when Tonji Carter discovered it in a secure location where it had been affixed to an original typescript of To Kill a Mockingbird. Go Set a Watchman is set during the mid 1950s and features many of the characters from To Kill a Mockingbird some 20 years later. Scout, Jean Louise Finch, has returned to Maycomb from New York to visit her father, Atticus. She is forced to grapple with issues both personal and political as she tries to understand her father's attitude towards society, and her own feelings about the place where she was born and spent her childhood. Lee says, in the mid-1950s, I completed a novel called Go Set a Watchman. It features the character known as Scout as an adult woman and I thought it a pretty decent effort. My editor, who was taken by the flashbacks to Scout's childhood, persuaded me to write a novel from the point of view of the young Scout. I was a first-time writer, so I did as I was told. Lee added. I hadn't realized it had survived, so was surprised and delighted when my friend and lawyer Donji Carter discovered it. After much thought and hesitation I shared it with a handful of people I trust and was pleased to hear they considered it worthy of publication. I am humbled and amazed that this will now be published after all these years. Go Set a Watchman will be published in the UK and Commonwealth by William Heinemann an imprint of Penguin Random House Incorporated. To Kill a Mockingbird has recorded worldwide sales topping 40 million copies. It won the Pulitzer Prize and was adapted into a 1960 to movie of the same name, starring Gregory Peck in an Oscar-winning performance as the courageous lawyer Atticus Finch.